So these are textiles that are heated. Here, we're here with my aunt here at ID Tech X. And who are you? I'm Ilaria Veroli. And, uh, and who are you? I'm Milad Alizada. <laughs> and uh, so, so how does it work? Nice. So these garments, they're embedded uh, fabrics with silver yarn, and these garments are heating up, as you saw with the, uh, the heat gun. So all these garments are heated, depending on a certain resistance and power that we deliver to it, and you can embed these in sleeping bags, jackets. So this is just uh, what's called just tissue. No, this is just the yarn itself. This is the fabric itself. There's no pla there's no wiring. There's nothing behind it. No, there's nothing behind. It. This is exactly the uh, the mock-up of this one. Yeah. That we're just putting the demo of what it will look on the outside and what it looks on the inside. So this is the guts of it, and this is the outside. It's just for aesthetic reasons and just because we don't want people touching it. Um, but you're not going to get a shock from this at all. Yeah. This is the carpet, maybe. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, uh, how about this? This is also he this is a heated sock. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but it's not, it's not. It's <laughs> not. Yeah. So how about the what's called a? So how do you make this? It's the same structure as the previous one. We knit the we knit the entire garment. Uh, we have the bus delivering the power, and we have the heating element. So if we turn this on, um, oh sorry, the battery is out for this one. Uh, we ran out of battery, but once you turn it on, these elements heat up, and you have a heated garment over here. And what are you wearing here? So what I'm wearing here is a uh, functional electric simulation shirt. So we've collaborated with uh, the Rehab Engineering Lab at Toronto Rehab to develop this garment and implement functional electric simulation in a textile-based garment uh, without the need of gel electrodes. So all the electrodes that you see here for flexor extensor muscles on the forearm, the bicep flexor, and the tricep deltoid rear deltoid extensor. So with this, you can basically have a garment someone wears, and uh, using this, they can regain uh, lost motor function in their arms if they have a stroke or if they have a spinal cord injury, they're quadriplegic or this paraplegic. Works? Yes, if, uh, sorry, if paraplegic, and they can use this, and it definitely works, yes. So right now, I've put a program in here, which is a, a drinking routine. So for this routine, we have a bottle here so I can demonstrate for you. When I'm I activate the whole process, um, yeah. It does a whole cycle of me grabbing the bottle, lifting it up, drinking for a couple of seconds, putting it down, and then releasing the cup. So as soon as I trigger this, you'll see the whole process beginning. So now my hand goes down and release. So one more time. So as you see, the cycle begins with me grabbing and lifting as I drink. Now my tricep kicks in, flexors, and done. None so it gives triggers normal. in there? Yes, all these muscles are triggering and it starts activating. The you didn't do anything? No, I didn't do anything. Really? Yes. That's cool, right? It's, it sounds crazy. It's not crazy, it's just science. <laughs> it's, it's, science. it's just science. So where are you from? We're from Toronto. So this is a Canada booth right here, right? Yes, we're in the Canadian section. We're, my, we're a textile computing company. And so this is uh, this is your your factory. Or what this is a demonstration of factory. So this is a printed electronic lab. So all those uh, lighting units that you saw and we have uh, on demo, we make them in house. Um, we also have knitting machines. So all these garments, the heating garments, the electric stimulation garments, and any other technologies that we uh, have are developed in house, and we knit them in house. Um, what is that? That's an electroluminescent. So this is part of the printed electronics division. So this is a thin film that uh, it's lights up. Yeah. So you, this, yeah. Is, uh, this is designed for your... Uh, you can have it in a bag also. Yep, yeah, bag. So if you're a biker, you can put this on your bike's frame, or you can wear a backpack with lighting. This is um, what the lamp looks like. So it's flexible, washable. Cool. How do you put that in the textile? Well, that's where... You uh, have secrets? That's where our trade secrets come in, right? Oh, yeah. Well, so we right here... A, we have a cut and sew division in our uh, office as well. So you have a system for cutting and putting stuff together? Yeah. Right here you have some other demonstrations. Uh, yeah, what is this, going on here? This is a full electroluminescent shirt. And over here this is a demonstration of a uh, full heated garment. So you have a shirt that has heating in the center. You have heating for the elbows. If you have uh, osteoarthritis or pain, you have knee knee pads for knee pain and you have pants that can heat up the front of the pants and socks which one you saw once you turn it on if you have a heat gun you can see the bottom of the sole of the feet heat up so if you're going camping if you're going skiing 
or if you just generally have cold uh, hands and feet. Uh, Which is important in Canada, right? Very important in Canada. Yeah. yeah, there's a big market for that. Indeed. And uh, all these clothes over here. These are just no. These are our own clothes. <laughs> but these are some of the demos and some of the things that we create. So okay. These are some passive technologies and some of the active technologies that we have. All right. So my aunt, Canada. Yes. Uh, lots of things to come in the future for e-textiles. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Checking out here. This guy also. <laughs>